Okay, so I'm going to kind of keep repeating this process of copying and pasting. Now, these are still grouped. I'm gonna leave it like that for a second, but I am gonna mirror this. I wanna kind of switch the colors around. Flip it. There we go. Gonna do one of these. Or not flip it. <laughs> Give me one second. Sometimes my computer doesn't think as fast as I do, which is always kind of frustrating. There we go. Flip horizontally. Okay, and we're good. So now what I'm gonna do, right, I have two separate groups. I'm gonna kind of drag and drop, right, across the whole section. I'm gonna right click again and I'm going to group them all together. Group. Definitely don't want to lock object. So now it's all one group, right? It kind of moves as a unit when you group them like that. And what that does is it helps things from sliding around. You don't have to constantly keep editing, like, you know, doing the small adjustments with the shifting. I want those to intersect just a little bit like the last one, right? And so now you can see how I can build a pattern really, really quickly. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group the eight of them, right? And so this doesn't mean I can't ungroup them, right? If I wanted to change the colors up from the green and you can change like individual colors, that's something you can definitely do, right? So I'm going to group them all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it just so you guys can see them a little bit smaller, right? And kind of see how fun it can be to like create this all over pattern, right? And it can be really ornate and really satisfying to do, right? So the hard part is coming up with the initial design, right? But now I can kind of, you know, continue to copy and paste, continue to make those, those repeat patterns the entire time, maybe. the other one. I'm going to kind of line this one up now. And again, it's going to try to help you line it up. See, it kind of just fits snug. And now I'm starting to really get this almost like lattice or lace effect. And, you know, as big as that like weird circle teardrop gear shape was, I have this as an option, right? So something else I want to show you, um, you know, I'm going to kind of leave that for a second. I had made up as I was waiting for the other things to load. I mean, I have this rectangular path that I kind of have made up just to kind of show you. Um, anytime that you can't necessarily get an item, you can always click on the layer and it should highlight it for you. So I'm gonna kind of shift this over. And so I don't like this background color at all. Let's change that first of all. Ooh, that was pretty, we missed it. Teal's great. So what I, I can, of course, play with the opacity, right? You guys see this opacity thing here. If I didn't want to click it here, I can see this little scrolly thing here, kind of shift this down, and the opacity is here as well, right? So I can play around with how opaque that color is, which kind of, you know, anytime that you're, you also see these things here that I have like send to front, send to back, if I pull this to the front, see it's only in front of a couple of my shapes, only the one group, you see how it kind of masks and changes the color, right? So you can make it really complex with your layers in this program and kind of build layers of color on top of each other. But it's also nice just to have that kind of sense of background, right? To kind of play around with the negative space. So when in doubt, no, I don't have to go and recreate, you know, all those crazy shapes. I can just play around with the order of my layers and play around with the transparency and what's in front and what's in back, right? Which is helpful. Um, so I'm gonna send this back again. Go back, there we go. Kind of play around. Of course I just made a square, but I can obviously like change the whole, like kind of fit it, right? And it should help you see how it kind of locked into place. It's trying to help me, <laughs> which is nice. I like that the program does this. It's helping you kind of fit your design and so you don't have any wonkiness, right? So now I could even use this as a whole shape and like grid out different sections, right? So just to kind of show you different possibilities. Um, the next thing we're going to go over is the pen tool. So what's going to happen is I'm going to turn off these layers that we just made, the groupings, the rectangle, all of that. And then I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. 